Guys, my heart was absolutely racing at the flea market this morning. An opportunity presented itself that I've pretty much never seen at a flea market before. Just ridiculous stuff that I was able to capture on film for you guys to enjoy. We're going to dive straight into it. All these items today, I'm trying to flip it on eBay for a profit. So let's go and dig into it. We'll see what I was able to pick up. Guys, I've always got good shoes. Oh, we can do a bag at home. How you go? Good. How are you good? Yeah, I'm doing well. I've actually got some more good ones at home, but I forgot to bring them. Before. Oh, really? Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah. yeah. There's a Metcon. I love the Metcons. Yeah. And they're in good condition too. Yeah, I don't think they've even been used. Yeah, they are. They're awesome. Yeah, I saw them online for 150. Yeah. Um, but if you want to do a deal, we'll have to deal with you. Yeah, okay. Because I can't be bothered doing them. I'm too busy. Oh, it's a process oh, yeah. online. Yeah, I know. Um, well, what about these three then? Maybe an offer. No, well, I, I know these are obviously a lot better. Um, yeah. I, I I do sell them online, and I typically, given the condition, get about 80 to 90. Yeah. Um, so we could do 40 on those, and then, say, 20 on those. And these are the skater ones, too. Yeah. The these, yeah. these would be next best, and then these would be the sort of your lower, probably 40, 45, 50 at most. Okay, so we'll just make me So I'd say... Um, let's say 70. 75 and they're yours and you can have the bag as well. Let's do it. Oh, let's do it. I think that's great. What's that? I said, you're happy with that I am. Oh, it's, it's the way to do it, isn't it? Yeah, awesome. Good to see you. Absolutely. Okay, all the sewing stuff there. Yeah, there. That's a cool cord hat. I'm not really sure what it's happening. I'll do that one for $2. Sweet, thank you. Two, four, I got six DVDs. All up. Ten bucks, let's do it. Well, that's what, that's what we like to hear. <laughs> Would it be half price on these DVDs as well? Yep. So five for these? Yep. All right, well, I'll definitely take that. There you go. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hopefully it's a good morning for you. Yeah, hopefully I'll go home and pass. Yeah, that'd be very nice. Uh, all the best. So even though this says PAL, you're telling me that because it's of this. Much. Well, because the, the ratings are different. Yeah. So depending on which country, they use a different like rating system. So yeah. like 12 plus, I think we use 13 plus. Yeah, and okay. And that depends on like where That's it actually 11. got released in. So that'd be, would that be American? 11 plus? I have plus? no idea. But the main thing we're looking for is the region and they're all PAL. So that means we can sell them here and they'll yeah. play on our Xboxes. So but they will play, but they're not produced here. When you here. do notice that these are like this, yeah. you need to check that if it's a PAL, because okay. a lot of them will be the American or the Japanese ones. Oh, right. Yeah. And is the quality less? No. If, as long as they're PAL, PAL's always going to be worth more in Australia. So you're safe with PAL? Yeah. So these are safe to play here? Yes. Okay. You'll be fine with them. Okay. It's good to know. Yeah. I've always just thought of PAL as the be all and end all. Um, what do you reckon though? Do you reckon leave them? Um, I would... What about this PC game? Um, I sold that one on PS4 for like 12 bucks. Like, uh, 32, 30, 40. 30, 40. So that Old Republic's a good one. That's a really good one, yeah. And that's yeah. Xbox Classics as well, so that's Black Label. Which yeah, value. Black Label's the best, isn't yeah. it? So there's one right there, complete with manual for 40. Let's have a look at this, how's yeah. the manual? Oh. Disc. Oh. <laughs> We're doing all this for nothing. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Always check. You buggers. Always, always. <laughs> View of the channel. Hey. What's up, my man? View of the channel. How are you, my man? killed it on those shoes, eh? Oh, oh bro. Yeah, yeah, I couldn't four, believe it. How many did you get? How many pairs? We all got 10 each. I think we got... Uh, yeah, <laughs> I came in just pairs, as you yeah. guys were about to get... I was like, no, no. You do a little bit yourself, do you? Uh, I'm just trying to get a, real, uh, a lot of stuff that I've got. But I'm 
collecting uh, a bit of Marvel stuff. Oh, like nice. That, so. Yeah, okay. Yeah, well, no wonder we're finding yeah. you over here then. Yeah, no way. Little bits and pieces. Oh, I love your content, bro. Like, I appreciate it, man. Appreciate you tuning in. I'll grab those two off your back. That's cool. How about, um, how about this over here? This is cool. Columbia, man. Got a wallabies. That's cool. Korea, yeah. Dude, that's sick. How much on your, um, your jackets, man? Um, that, the wallabies one's 15, bro. Yeah. The, that one's 20. Yeah. Columbia one's 20. Yeah. Um, this Emerson, oh, the brown one's like five, bro. Yeah. The cheap one's 15. Oh, you're a Jeep, too. Yeah. 15 for the Catmandu. 15 for the Catmandu. <laughs> what do you want to do? Your first dibs, my friend. No, no, that's all I'm looking at. No, you, you take whatever you right That's now. it. This one's good. How much did you say you're on doing this one, bro? Oh, 20 on that one, bro. It's pretty rad. It's pretty rad. It's pretty tough to let go, bro. I love that. Yeah, bro. Um, I'll take that. Um, you can do it? No, you do, you do it, man. You do it, bro. I've got so many of the jackets, but that's... Dude, don't let anyone else get that one. That's sick. Yeah, good, bro. How have you been, man? Not too bad. Oh, good, man. Are you sure, bro? Are you sure? No, no, no. That's all you, bro. Really? Are you back at school now? Yeah. It's like 14th, but... Running out of business by the time you leave school, bro. He's a game changer, this kid, eh? He's a game changer. So, we're at 35, eh? Yes, we are. All right, mate. Let's do it. Some of the best shoes I've ever seen at a flea market. He has a lot of pairs. How the hell? We're actually building a nursery at the moment. So, he's selling all his pairs. Well, how much are you doing? Um, depends on which one. Some of them are quite new, you see. So if, if they um, are pretty worn, um, $30. Yeah, what about these ones? Uh, they're quite new, them ones. Yeah, they're quite new, them ones. $40 for them ones. 40 and those? 40 yeah. Yeah. Yeah, what? Yeah, you go, you go for that one. You go and sort them out. What would you do yeah. if I took that box and these? Um, the whole box. Yeah. Hang on two seconds. I'll take all those. Hang on, make sure you've got the right. I'll just put you in this box. Is that all right? So then I can just check. You've got the pairs there. Yep. That's one so I'll pair. Keep, I'll keep those separate. They, they yeah. can stay there. That is one. Oh, I'm sure it's maybe here. Two. Hey. That's nine, yeah. nine pairs. Why don't you just check that? Yeah, so what have yeah, we got here? Is that a match? Mm -hmm. They don't match. Um, oh. They are somewhere, though. There is a pair somewhere? Mm. All right. So, say three, four. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, here, there. Because they're going. That. <laughs> But they won't be my size, they'll be your size. Yeah, nine. Nine? Yeah. Oh. Um, oh, these ones are pretty new. No, yeah, for nine pairs. Yeah. Uh, $25 each at um, 350 We can do it for $350. Because yeah. I'd probably work off 25 a pair. No, the two new. What would 25 a pair work out to? Um, oh, no, it's got five here. Sweet. Yeah. Oh, that's your face. Yeah. Two fifty total. Ah, oh, she's in there somewhere. Nah, no, that's fine. Yeah. Is it in full? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because, um, yeah. 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 Yeah.
250? Yeah. You did 220? Yeah. 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 Um, so what's the what's the go with anything else that you might have at home? Uh, yeah, I think maybe if you give me if you give your number to Emma or something there, then yeah, nice. Where are you guys based? We're in Brizzy. Brizzy, yeah, okay. Yeah. No worries. It's a nice one. Twenty five. There's another one here too if you want it. It's another. It's madness in here. This is a place to be. Yeah, you got the right spot. I almost want to start doing some selling for them. <laughs> Who needs help? <laughs> that's all I've got all that. That's all, that's all, that's all me. Yeah. I think it's your location. You're on the corner. You've got everyone looking at you. I'll look for a game then, yeah. Yeah. Well done, Jamie. Good stuff, sir. It's definitely been a pretty crazy day in the flea, guys. All up, I spent $374 today. I bought 19 items, so that actually works out to a cost of good of around about... 20 bucks and if you've watched my flea market videos in the past i typically average out at about an eight dollar purchase price so paying up at 20 bucks an item today was just really crazy and, and i'm still actually pretty content with what we've been able to do i want to take you through a couple of different purchases that i made today and i guess explain why i'm okay with paying a few extra dollars for it so uh, the first one that i've got for you here with the jackets now but remember this one here the Kathmandu. Uh, this was a really nice puffer jacket it's size small i really like the colors on this one here. So buying it for $15, I think that's a steal. That one should go on to sell anywhere between sort of 80 to 100 bucks. The other one that I've got here as well is this one, which is Adidas branded, but a really cool back print on it as well. We've got some vintage uh, Japan 2002 FIFA World Cup, and this is an Adidas size large. So awesome jacket in excellent condition, paid the $20 for it, had to get my hands on that. Again, I'm talking 80 to to $100 on those. So we're talking at a minimum 150 bucks. I paid $35. I think that's a big win. Next up, I wanted to have a quick chat about these hats. And as you'll see there, corduroy. Corduroy is just something I always look for when we're talking clothing. Even accessories like hats. Anything corduroy just seems to sell well for me. Um, I found two hats in very, very good condition. Exactly the same. New Balance, fully tagged up and genuine there as well. So they should turn into about 35 bucks for me. I pay just $2 a piece. So four bucks into what should be about 70 bucks. Definitely look out for the hats and definitely look out for anything corduroy. The other one as well was um, these DVDs. Now, I've ended up sifting through a big tub of DVDs. And at these flea markets, you always come across tubs. I actually saved the DVDs until right at the end. So these were sourced right at the end of the video. They were my last item that I picked up because you've got more time to sift through the DVDs and pick out a few winners. There's bigger fish to fry at the start of the day. So make sure when you are doing your DVDs, just save it for the end. Uh, these ones here, I've got three different bundles. The first one that I've got here is probably the best, actually. We've got Wild Thornberry's Season 1 and 2 there. So I've gone ahead and picked that up. That turns into about $35 per the comps I was seeing on eBay. If you have a look here, you can see Seasons uh, 1 and 2. So, uh, yeah, Seasons 1 and 2 of Arrow. Now, I bought the two of these because they're consecutive seasons. Um, if it was, say, Seasons 1 and 3 or 1 and 4, I probably wouldn't have picked it up. But because they were together, 1 and 2, I can do that one as a bit of a bundle. Should get about 25 bucks for that. I bought all six of these for $10. So it works out to about $1.50 or so um, per DVD. So 25 bucks, free postage, not a bad scenario. Um, same one here as well for Heroes. Season 1 and 2 of Heroes, again, should be about 25 bucks. So, guys, that's $85 in DVDs, three listings, and I've only paid 10 bucks to get my hands on it. So, again, wicked result there on those. Then we had a shoe purchase that I made of a lady that I've bought a lot of shoes off in the past. She was actually really nice uh, to save these Metcons that you would have seen in the video right until the very end. Guys, these Metcons, the Triple Blacks, now, the Metcon 5, and they have really never been worn. They're also a US size 10, which is brilliant. These should sell for upwards of $100. Now, she, she kept them in her car. She kept them in her car and waited for me to turn up. And that is exactly what I mean by talking about building relationships with people that you're buying off. So really kind of her to do that. I kind of wanted to repay her by paying up for this deal today. And, and I definitely have done that. I've paid $75. But the whole idea of this was just really to kind of continue the relationship, make her feel good about the purchase, um, that I've made and, and hopefully she could bring a, sh a few more shoes out down the line. So I'll probably be getting my money back on these. I'll probably be selling them for about 45 to make myself a good 20 to 25 in profit. 
and I'll make all the money out of these ones here. They should uh, sell for 100 off a $25 purchase. And while all those pickups were all well and good, this right here was the story of the day. An absolute dogfight with a few other resellers, good mates of mine, that saw this dude in the New York Giants jersey and we thought, well, let's just go and see what this guy has. Haven't seen him before. He was a first time attendee at these markets and we absolutely swooped on what was an unbelievable collection of his own personal shoes in the US size 10. Um, I managed to get nine pairs. Jamie managed to get 12 pairs. Gold Coast Picker managed to pick up 12 pairs as well. We cleaned this dude out and it wasn't at the expense of him. He got a great return. I ended up buying these nine shoes for $27 a pair. And if you've watched any of these videos before, I don't spend $27 a pair. So um, really kind of had to pay up for them, but they are such good shoes that I think the resale value will be slightly higher than my average sale price. So I think I'm gonna get anywhere between 80 to $100. So it certainly made it worthwhile, but geez guys, my heart was racing and you had to be quick, but I was really happy with what we got. We got these ones right here, really cool white variation uh, on the Element 87s. Those ones there are the best because I've got Undercover written on them there. Whoops, sorry about that. Um, that should go for about 125. Those right there are just sweet colorway. Um, I've got these as well, which was a Joyride uh, variation there with little bobbles in the sole. So those are a pretty funky shoe I've never seen before, but really cool pair of Nikes. Um, they should sell for about 100 bucks. The Dim Six, the Nike Dim Six with a really cool colorway as well. They'll go on to do very well. Um, these are the Lunar Eclipse or something, I think. Um, really cool colorway. Love the beige uh, sort of mushroom type colorway on those. So they should go well. Uh, and then we've got another pair of Metcons. And I've also got two pairs of Adidas Ultra Boosts as well. So paid up for them, guys. Um, we, we spent $250 on these nine shoes. All up for the day, we spent $374. Um, always fun when you get the heart racing on flea market Sunday day. It doesn't always happen, but when it does, you've got to act quick like we did and, uh, and strike the gold. So um, hopefully you've enjoyed the video today, guys. Um, we'll be back on Tuesday with the What Sold video. I'm going to list all of these up this afternoon. Hopefully they go on to sell. Hopefully I can bring it to you in Tuesday's video. And hopefully you can be there to watch it. Appreciate you being here for this one, guys. We'll see you soon.